Mr. Happy Finds a Hobby by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Happy is a happy sort of fellow. He lives in Happy Land, which is a happy sort of place. Behind his house, there is a wood full of happy birds, and on the other side of the wood, there is a lake full of happy fish. Now, one day, not that long ago, Mr. Happy went for a walk down through the wood. As he came to the shore of the lake, he heard an unusual sound, a sound that is seldom heard in Happy Land. It was the sound of somebody moaning and grumbling. Mr. Happy peered round the trunk of a tree. At the edge of the lake, there was somebody fishing, fishing and grumbling, and grumbling and fishing. It was Mr. Grumble. Good morning, Mr. Grumble," said Mr. Happy. "Shh, shh, Mr. Grumble." Sorry," whispered Mr. Happy. "Have you caught anything?" "Yes, I've caught a cold," grumbled Mr. Grumble. "I've been sitting here all night. I hate fishing." "Then why are you fishing?" asked Mr. Happy. "Because Mr. Quiet said it was fun, and you see, I'm trying to do something I enjoy doing, something I can do as a hobby." Hum," pondered Mister Happy. "I might be able to help. Come on, let's see if we can find you a hobby." As they walked along, Mister Happy thought long and hard as he thought about Mister Grumble. Grumbled. He grumbled about the noise that the birds were making. He grumbled about having to walk, but most of all, he grumbled about not having a hobby. Grumble, grumble, grumble. First of all, they met Mister Rush in his car. Mister Happy explained what they were doing. What's your hobby? Asked Mister Grumble. Speed, said Mister Rush. Hop in, and they did. Mister Grumble very quickly decided that he did not like going fast. Next, they met Little Miss Giggles. What's your hobby? Asked Mister Grumble. I tee hee like tee hee giggling. Giggled Miss Giggles. So they went to the circus to see the clowns. Little Miss Giggles giggled. Mister Happy laughed, and Mister Grumble frowned. I hate custard pies. Grumbled Mister Grumble. It proved to be a very long day for Mr. Happy. They went everywhere. They went to Little Miss Splendid's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like hats. They went to Mr. Mischief's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like practical jokes. They bounced with Mr. Bounce, and they looked through keyholes with Mr. Nosy. But nothing was right. In fact, nothing was left. Mister Happy had run out of ideas. As the sun was setting, they saw Mister Impossible coming towards them down the lane. Now, if anybody can help us, that somebody ought to be Mister Impossible," said Mister Happy. "Hello," he said. "You're good at the impossible." Can you think of a hobby that Mister Grumble would enjoy? That," said Mister Impossible. "Yes," said Mister Happy and Mister Grumble together. "Would be impossible," said Mister Impossible. "Grrr!" growled Mister Grumble and stomped off home. It was whilst drinking a cup of tea the next morning that Mister Happy had an idea. A perfectly obvious idea. He rushed round to Mister Grumble's house. I've got it! cried Mister Happy. You can take up fishing. Fishing? But I hate fishing. I know. But what do you do while you are fishing? Asked Mister Happy. I don't know. 
You grumble, said Mr. Happy. And what do you like doing most of all? I like. And then it dawned down on Mr. Grumble. I like grumbling. Mr. Grumble looked at Mr. Happy and then for the first time in a very long time, he smiled. A very small smile, but a smile all the same.